Good morning students. Today in this video you will learn the rules of future perfect continuous tense and transformation of affirmative sentences of future perfect continuous tense into negative, interrogative and negative interrogative. Now the question arises when do we use future perfect continuous tense? Future perfect continuous tense is used to express an action which will begin before a definite moment in the future, will continue up to that moment and will be in progress even at that moment. See the examples. The children will have been studying in classroom for three hours. She will have been learning French for two weeks. So the structure of future perfect continuous tense is subject plus will have been plus v1 ing form plus time reference. Now see the rule of future perfect continuous tense. The rule is will shall plus have been plus v1 plus ing. But keep in mind one thing that with i and v we always use shall as a helping verb. But with any other subject like you, he, she, it, they, Ria, Rohan, we use will as a helping verb. So our rule with I and V is shall plus have been plus V1 plus ING. With any other subject it is will, will plus have been plus V1 plus ING. See the examples. By 8 am I shall have been reading the newspaper for 2 hours. They will have been preparing for the examination for two months. Now see in the first sentence our subject is I. As I had already told you with I we use shall and with any other subject we use will. So shall have been reading, will have been preparing shows that it is a future perfect continuous tense. So the rule for affirmative sentence of Future perfect continuous tenses will shall plus have been plus v1 plus ing that is present participle form of verb. To make it negative we will add not with will or shall and our rule will be will shall plus not plus have been plus v1 plus ing. To make it interrogative we will bring our helping verb outside in the beginning of the sentence and it will be will shall plus subject plus have been plus v1 plus ing that is present participle form of verb. Students, every sentence can be changed into negative, interrogative and negative interrogative. See the sentence, Rohan will have been playing cricket for two hours. To make it negative, we will add not with our helping verb. So, answer will be, Rohan will not have been playing cricket for two hours. To make it interrogative, we'll bring our helping verb outside and our answer will be Will Rohan have been playing cricket for two hours. Now keep in mind one thing whenever it is an interrogative sentence we will put a question mark. To make it negative interrogative it will be will Rohan. Now we will see our negative sentence first. Our not will remain at the same place. So it will be will Rohan not have been playing cricket for two hours and as it is a interrogative sentence so it will be a question mark. Now see students rewrite the rewrite the following sentences in future perfect continuous tense using the time expressions given in the brackets. So the rule for future perfect continuous tenses will shall plus have plus been plus v1 plus ing. So, we'll change the sentence. The girls will be singing songs. Our expression is for one hour. So, our answer will be the girls will 
have been singing songs for one hour. See the next sentence. The students will be studying Hindi since Tuesday. So, our answer will be the students will have been studying Hindi since Tuesday. Rohan will be reading a novel for two hours. See, Rohan will have been reading a novel for two hours. See the next sentence. We shall be playing cricket for four hours. So answer will be we shall have been re playing cricket for four hours. Ashok will be living in Jaipur for 10 years. Ashok will have been living in Jaipur for 10 years. I hope you understood my video and following the same rules, do the related exercises of your chapter number 12 verbs expressing the future tense from your basic English grammar and composition book 7. Thank you.